driving home and I just got this strong desire to jump on here and say this. There's a group of people that's coming, that's being prepared and trained right now. That's going to be terrible. You hear me? Terrible for Satan and his kingdom. Yep. There's a group of people who won't care whether you invite them on your platform or not. There's a group of people who don't even need a platform. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. There's a group of people that's coming with no fear at all. Persecution, they eat like candy. There's a group of people who is not going to care about their delivery. Mm -mm. How they get the message or the word out. Okay? There's a group of people who can care less whether you offended by what they say or not. There's a group of people that many of you are going to pray and want to get rid of them. Y'all going to be like, don't, uh-uh, get rid of them people. We need them other people back. Get Bring them other believers back. These people, we don't want them. Why? Because when they open their mouth, there's nothing but fire coming out of it. There's a group of people that's coming. They're not going to be all dressed up in suit and tie. They're not going to be all cute and pretty. They're not going to be all they not going to be all decked out in the latest uh-uh. Mm-mm. The group of people that's coming, they might look like the walking dead. But they coming with fire in their belly. <laughs> so y'all going to want us back. Mm. These believers that that can relate, the believers, oh God is love. You know, just just repent. The kingdom of God is at hand. You know, the patient ones, the kind ones, you know. Y'all going y'all going to wish we were back. There's a group of people that their only mission, their only mission is to proclaim the word and the judgment of God. Heavy, 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 heavy message. All right. But this is your brother Shamak out of the Great Millstone Atlanta camp. Before I get started, I want to give all the glory, infinite praises unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Rachak Wadash, Yahweh being Heavenly Father's true name, and his only begotten son's true name being Yahweh Shai, both in the Hebrew language, whom the world incorrectly calls God and Jesus Christ. Also, want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well. And who are the true leaders of the Hebrew Israelites within these last days. Also, I'm going to give a shalom to all the sincere brothers that's pushing, teaching his truth worldwide. And shalom to all you sincere listeners and you sincere believers, all right? And that, and, and with, within hearing that clip, all right, that's a sincere listener, all right? And just stemming off the last message or a few messages that, that was displayed within the video. And you heard what she mentioned and she had a strong desire to send that message, all right? She has to be aware all right, what's uh, the prophecies that's mentioned in the Bible? She has to be aware of the, of the prophets, all right, in our message, okay? She's she's aware, all right, about how we're preparing spiritually, and this is all through the spirit of Yahweh Bashmi al Shai, through the through the, through the Holy Spirit, that is, okay? And no, it's not about the platform, we're not about attention, we're simply about pushing the, the gospel of Yahweh Bashmi al Shai, all right? That's what, that's what the spirit has been given for us to do. All right, as is, uh, I have just pulled up here, as Isaiah chapter 61, verse 1 will explain, okay? It reads, the spirit of the Lord power is upon me because, this, because the Lord have anointed me to preach good tidings. All right, good tidings is going to the gospel. All right, good news. Because ultimately, the prophets, what the, what the world would say is bad news, we're truly, uh, we're truly giving out, it's truly good news, man. The destruction, all right, the, the, the fall of this of the so called white man's economy in this world, as he described, you, you, you heard the lady describe it as Satan's kingdom, all right, which is straight, that's facts, all right. We, we're, the, the earth is given to the hand of the wicked, all right, the wicked is in control right now, all right, for, for a set amount of time that the Lord has given them, all right. It says, because the Lord have anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek, all right, unto the humble, 
unto those that are able to receive the word of God, man. It says, he have sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. All right, and especially our people. And our people being you Negroes, Latinos, and you Native Americans. We are broken, all right, by, by the Lord, okay, because of our disobedience. We are definitely brokenhearted. That's not hard to see. It says to proclaim liberty to the captives. All right, we are in our captivity. Wherever you are in the world, man, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans who are scattered worldwide, we are captives regardless, all right? But we're here to proclaim liberty. How? That, that Yahweh Shah is returning, that the kingdom of heaven will be established very, very soon, okay? Where there, will, there will be no more death, no more slavery, no more sorrow, no more pain, as Revelation chapter 21 speaks about, all right? That's the liberty that we're preaching to our people, all right? Whether they want to receive it or not. It says, in the opening of the prisons to them that are bound to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our power to comfort all that mourn. Because the, hey, the, the, our Lord is coming with vengeance, all right? There's going, there's going to be thermonuclear missile destruction. The Lord's going to bring plagues. He's going to have famine take place. He's going to have people uh, lose their minds, okay? He's going, to bring, he's going to put the spirit on wild creatures to devour humans, all right? The Lord's going to do all these things all at once, okay? And that's what we're here to warn our people, to repent so you can be protected in, the, in those times, all right? That's why it says to comfort all that mourn, those that are truly sighing and crying for the wickedness that is being done in the world today, in the earth today, and it's being led by the, the, by the Edomites, the so-called white nation, all right? And it's being carried on by the heathen nations, and it's being followed after by the, by the wicked of the Israelites, man. OK, the wicked of you Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans all right, who, who make up the 12 tribes of Israel. All right. But here, but just, you know, coming across that message from the women, that's a strong message. All right. Because she didn't even, she she didn't go. You could tell she understood more, but just a, just but just didn't want to get a people more. But it was enough. All right. Because it has, she mentioned the word. All right. They, they don't their Their only mission is to proclaim the gospel and the judgment of God. And that's what the Lord has given us to do. Because what Amos, um, it's Amos chapter 3, verse 7, okay? Amos chapter 3, but I started verse 6. It reads, shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Who's blowing that trumpet? The prophets, the servants. And in, in a way, the women is blowing the trumpet as well. All right, it's giving out that spiritual warning. It says, shall, people should be asking questions. It says, shall there be evil in a city and the Lord have not done it? Verse 7. Sure, that means the Lord is, is in full control, man. The Lord is in control of all these things that are taking place on the earth. Verse 7, surely, surely the Lord power will do nothing, but he revealeth his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. All right? So the Lord has given has uh, given us the duty of, of, of the Holy Spirit of receiving his word and understanding it and also teaching it, all right, to, to those that, you know, whoever is meant to understand. Verse 8, it says, the lion have roared. Who would not fear? The Lord power have spoken. Who can but prophesy? All right. So if we, we all we could do is speak about these uh, great, great events. All right. To take place before they actually take place. That's prophesying to speak before they happen. All right. And that's what separates the, the elect. All right. The believers, the servants from the rest of the world. No one else is doing what 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 the uh what the prophets or the Hebrew what the Hebrew Israelites are doing, all right, and be, with truth and with facts, all right, prophecy brings upon brings upon undisputable evidence, okay, and no, like she mentioned, no, they don't they don't they don't have any fear, all right, because our message is, is a is a man, our message is, is extreme, all right, our message is, is not to to be is not to be taken lightly. We're speaking upon thermonuclear missile destruction. We're speaking of people dying of starvation. We're speaking, we're, we're speaking upon the judgments that the Lord is bringing, man. All right? And it's not light. All right? We're even speaking upon ourselves, you know, because uh, we, we understand what prophecy speaks about. Persecution. All right? The, the believers that, that believe in this word and that proclaim and stand by, by uh, stand stiffly for the name of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai will be greatly hated. All right? As she even understood. Because she said, well, you're going to want to get rid of them. All right, because what? When they speak, straight fire comes out their mouth. Straight spirit, man. Okay? Straight, straight correction, straight rebuke. All right? Straight facts. They hate, they hate, the scriptures speak about, they hate them, they rebuke them at the gate. All right? The message, that, and she said, they don't, they're not coming with the suit and tie. So that's to show you that she understands that it's not about appearance. All right? Not coming with the politics. All right? To, you know, to be uh, politically correct. 
Okay? We come with straight spirit, and that's how the Lord has set this thing up, man. All right? Let me get that with Isaiah chapter 58. All right? And the scriptures also speak about uh, with Paul how though I be rude in speech, all right, but not in knowledge, man, because we, we, though we though some things may come off harsh or even it truly that's just mi mistaken for being passionate, but some things may come off harsh, some some things may come off so called rude, all right. But the things that we're speaking are are correct, all right. They're truth, all right. But this is Isaiah chapter fifty eight verse one: Cry aloud, spare not, and this is what you this is what you come across when you come across true prophets of the Lord. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet. And show my people their transgressions in the house of Jacob, their sins in the house of Jacob going into the 12 tribes of Israel. All right. The Israelites, you Negroes, Latinos, you Native Americans. And yes, we speak upon our people transgressions. All right. Where are people doing wrong? The idol worship, the, the, the adultery, the violence upon, you know, the uh, every every matter and whatever, every shape or form. All right. Spiritually bound down to this systems, bound down and, and, and believing in, in these uh, strongholds upon our people. And we're here to break those strongholds through the spirit, all right, through the Rechak Wadash, okay, through that Holy Spirit, all right. But her um, understanding those things is so, hey, this word, this word is out there, okay. No, people are not going to have any excuse, all right, and she's fully aware of the elect, all right. Let me grab that Romans chapter 8. All right, because when she was speaking, I, I thought about Romans chapter 8 because the elect are predestined. They are already It's already written for them to be delivered. It's already written. We just hope to be a part of this number. All right? It's already, it's already, uh, and even, if, if, shoot, the believers in the elect are going to receive spiritual powers. So what she's saying is not, is not a light message whatsoever. All right? Because the scriptures speak about that. Uh, you know what? Let me, let me just try to, let me find it. Let me get Leviticus uh, 26. All right? Leviticus, she said they're coming. All right, and that's and that's the that's going to be Yahweh Bashmi Shai giving the spirit to the elect to overcome. Okay, into 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 uh come with full power. All right, let me read this. Um, this is a this one example of how the elect would display this power, man. All right, this is Leviticus chapter twenty six verse um verse seven. It reads, and ye shall chase your enemies, and they shall fall before you by the sword. And when you know when unbelievers hear these type of scriptures, they you know they have no faith, so they just like man, that just sound like some uh, Dragon Ball Z. That sounds like some Power Rangers type thing. But these things are really, it's really going to take place, and it's going to shock you, all right, because you didn't believe. It's going to be beyond that you look for, just as our salvation would be, all right. Verse two, verse uh, verse eight, and five of you shall chase an hundred, and an hundred of you shall put ten thousand to flight, and your enemies shall fall before you by the sword. So think about that. Five, truly five of those that are the, under the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Shai, five of the elect, chasing a hundred. You run, people, a hundred people run away from five. All right, a thousand, ten, it says ten thousand run, running away from a hundred. That shows you that power is going to be there. All right, power, this power will be displayed before you, before the Israelites are delivered, before Yahweh Shai returns, man. That's what she's going into as in they're coming. Yeah. That 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 spirit of the Lord is going to show, all right. And he's going he's going to cut off all distractions. The power is going to be down. All this the 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 the, the economy is going to collapse, all right. Every, everyone's going to be focused in on judgment, all right. So let me go back to Romans chapter eight, because I quickly just thought about Leviticus chapter uh, twenty six, because that power is going to be shown, man. It's going to be given to those uh, that that's Roman that Romans chapter eight speaks about. So this is Romans chapter eight. Romans chapter 8, verse, uh, I started 28, okay, and it reads, And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God. So, yeah, love, and we know what is what is true loving. How do you love God, man? By keeping his commandments, as 1 John chapter 5, verse 3 speaks about. If you love me, keep my commandments, all right? So, though, other than that, if people are not doing those things, you don't love Yahweh by Shai, all right? You don't love God. You don't love the Most High, all right? It says to them that are to them who are the called according to his purpose, for whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son. Yeah, so he predestined, he predestined before we were, were born, put in the womb, even thought of, we were, we were, um, the, truly the elect, all right, were predestined, all right, to, to receive the word, man. 
to 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 believe, all right, and, and ultimately be delivered by Yahweh by Yahweh Shai. All right. It says that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called. And whom he called, them he also justified. So in the process right now, we're at this at the stage of, of being called. All right. And we're looking to be justified. And that's going to come. The only person that, uh, that's going to be able to justify the elect would be Yahweh Shai. It says, in whom he justified, them he also glorified. And that glorification will be fully, fully shown within the kingdom of heaven. All right. That glorification is going to take place through spiritual power as well, through healings, through miracles. All right. In the times we're living in right now. Just wait. These things will happen, man, very, very soon. It says, verse 31. What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? That's why the, you heard the message with the lady. They don't have no fear because, hey, who can be? If we really, really believe in Romans chapter 8, verse 31, what shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? We, we have to live by this, you know. He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justifieth. All right. So we're looking to be part of the elect and we're looking to be justified. It's and it's all hope. It's all has to, it all has to do with faith. All right. Verse 34. Who shall separate? Oh, it's like it. Verse 34. Who is he that condemneth? If it is Hamashiach that died, yeah, rather that is risen again, who is even at the right hand of God, who also make an intercession for us. Verse 35. Who shall separate us from the love of Yahweh Shai? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? So, yeah, all these things that take persecution, those coming after the, the believers, the famine, the death of starvation, nakedness, peril, sword, violence, all right, losing possessions, all right, none of these things are, are going to truly separate the elect, all right, from serving and loving Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai and keeping the faith unto the end in order to be delivered. Because we understand what Matthew chapter 24, verse 13 speaks about. That you have to endure until the end to be saved. Okay. Verse 36. As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, and all these things we are more than conquerors through him that love us. So yeah, they let are predestined to be delivered, are predestined to keep the faith, are predestined to, to overcome. All right, we hope to be a part of that number. And this message that the uh as you heard the lady speaking, she clearly is aware of the elect of the Israelites. OK, and it's going to be it's not going to be a, it's, it's going to be a, 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 a huge number, but it's going to be less than the number that's going to be destroyed of our own people, of you Negroes, Latinos and you Native Americans. All right. So, hey, the, the, the truth is out there. The truth is being pushed. All right. And it's going to come a time. All right. Where hey, the, the power of the elect and, the, and just straight uh, through the Holy Spirit is going to just be fully displayed all throughout the earth. OK. And it won't. It, it, we won't be in the, having to uh, proclaim the the uh, the word or the judgment of God anymore. Okay, because it's going to be this. It's going to be displayed fully. Okay, the Lord's going to stop speaking. He's going to start doing. All right. So Lord willing, you know this lesson was edifying and also encouraging. All right, to whomever can you know receive the receive the word. All right, I want to end all by giving all the glory, uh, all the glory, and infinite praises unto. Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rechah Kudash, double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Repent, Yahweh Shai is coming back. Shalom. Shalom. Keep the faith. Shalom.